everybody. I'm Courtney Michelanis from All Things New Again in Leesburg, Virginia, and this is a quick and easy upcycle project. We're going to be making bird feeders today using pretty china that you can find at your local Goodwill store. I'll show you a couple of different styles of bird feeder, and all you need are some plates, or maybe a cute little, uh, this one was 99 cents, you guys. You can't beat that. I thought this one was cute. I found this at Goodwill the other day. Um, so any type of little plate or dish, or even a little cup and saucer. I'll show you two different ways to make cup and saucer bird feeders for the birds in your yard, and they will love you for it. So we'll start out with this style. It's super simple. All you need is a pretty plate or a little, this is, looks like a little candy dish or something, and a bottle. And we're just using beer bottles today. Sometimes you can find really pretty glass bottles at Goodwill. I did not luck out and find any of those this week. If I did, I would have grabbed them. But um, root around in your recycle bin. You might find something good, a wine bottle, a beer bottle. Um, sometimes olive oil comes in pretty jars or pretty bottles that would work. And then you need some heavy duty glue. I like to use E6000 craft glue. It's industrial strength, it, um, it's waterproof, and it holds up outside pretty well, even in weather. With E6000 glue, you need to apply the glue to both surfaces. So here's an easy way to do it. You just start with your bottle and put a little rim of glue around the bottom of it. And then to get it to match up to the plate, I just put it on here and I just eyeball it. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. And you just kind of stick it there and then I've got the perfect circle. And I'm just gonna come back and fill in some more glue on this side. You need to put the glue on both surfaces and then it needs to sit um, for about two minutes and start to evaporate a little bit before you join the two surfaces together. So I'm just gonna move this project over and while the glue is doing its thing, I'll show you a couple other different styles that you can make. Um, again, there's, there's lots of possibilities here. It's just up to you and your imagination and, and the cool things that you can find when you're out treasure hunting. So this is the, you know, the little dish on the bottle. Here's another version with the bottle. And this is a teacup and saucer. And again, it's super simple. You just glue the cup and saucer together and then glue it onto the bottom of the bottle. And then you will also need for this style a piece of rebar, which you can find at the hardware store. They come in different lengths. This is a two foot section. You stake it in the ground, and then you put your little bird feeder on top, and you have a really cute little um, decoration for the yard, and you can put some bird seed in it, and it'll be functional as well to help feed the birds in your yard. Um, this would also work like if you had like a big potted plant, like out on a patio or on a balcony. You know, if your pot was big enough to hold the rebar, um, you could stick one of these in as well. It would look pretty. But if you don't have a yard, here's a different style that might work for you. This is a little hanging style with a teacup and saucer. And we just turn it on its side and glued it. You can tie a little twine around to hang it. This would look really cute, like hanging from a balcony. Um, we got a little fancy with this one and added a little spoon. It's just an old spoon. We bent it in half and then you need to drill a hole in it to hang. Um, but again, that's optional, just if you wanna give it a little bit of flair, but even just a piece of twine hanging from the teapot handle would work and it would look really pretty. So there's a couple of different ideas for you for bird feeder projects that you can easily make. Now we'll go back to our little, uh, our little bird feeder we're making here. I need to stick the bottle on. I don't know, I don't think I'm quite centered, but like I said, it's close enough for me. <laughs> if you really need it centered, then measure it out, but I don't. The glue needs to set, it needs 24 to 72 hours to set. So just get your two pieces joined up, set it aside, um, give it a day or two for the glue to fully cure, and then you're ready to put it outside and um, you know, make your yard or your, your balcony or patio just look a little bit prettier. Doesn't cost very much. And all you need is a couple of really pretty dishes from Goodwill and you can do this project at home as well. So thank you for watching today. Again, my name is Courtney. I'm from All Things New Again in Leesburg, Virginia. And um, I hope you have a lot of fun making your bird feeders at home.